This looked like it was going to be a normal day, but little did I know what was about to happen. Okay, I'm just going to be completely honest. The fact that I'm wearing a Batman sweatshirt and I open up Minecraft and it says give us Gordon, I think that's a really interesting coincidence. Alright, so, you know, as day start out normal, villager trying to block me into my own house, won't even trade with me, just, you know, waggles his head. Kind of annoying, but just ignore him, we just walk past, casually, just see my bodyguard, Iron Golems, yes, there are two of them. You know, I went mining because I needed torches and, you know, I kind of want to expand my simple house. Found some copper, even found some lava. And then I decided, you know what, we're moving out of the village and uh, we're gonna build this house. So I got some wood and, of course, you know, started building with what I had, which kind of looked not very good. I, I'll admit that, but hey, there's like a natural mini cave that I could use in a mine. So I built up the walls and, you know, I'm in my own house. Of course, I had to build like a small, like, not mo, but like, I guess you would say a ditch. Yeah, you would call it a ditch. I had to dig that around. So that way, mobs try to get inside my house. Uh, sorry, you're gonna fall straight down. Um, you're not getting in my house. I, I can promise you that. I had to build it two blocks deep, of course, because if you don't build it two blocks deep, then uh, what are you doing? Because, uh, yeah. That's, that's exactly what I thought. So, moving on, I went back to the village, and I was like, hey, can you get in the boat? Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to get on out of here. But uh, I had to create some, uh, you know, I had to create my own way to get them over. But don't worry, I didn't leave them stranded. Of course, I moved them over to my new house, but I uh, had no problems getting them over there. Had to create more waterways. Built them a little trading stall thing out of sandstone. Kind of got stuck in the boat trying to figure out why can I not move. He just kind of looked at me like I'm an idiot, which at that point in time I kind of was. I couldn't really figure out where the zombies were either. So uh, when I was almost done fi uh, finishing up the trading stall, I kind of heard some pillagers. But then... Yep, that's alright. So as you can see, I just let the soldiers fight each other. They killed each other off. And dead, they still kept thinking that they could take me out and just uh, kept shooting at me. So I decided to block them off. Well, I think of a better way to strategize on what to do. And in the process, I accidentally punched the villager. Then I realized I was not punching the villager, and as you can see, I had to block off the ceiling because, well, a pillager somehow climbed up there and, you know, he thought he was sneaky, he thought he was smart. So I was like, all right, we're good. we gotta come up with a plan. Maybe what's gonna happen, huh? But we kind of had to whisper, because you know the villagers are right there. Open a block to see if they uh, moved in, moved on, but uh, didn't see them. But uh, they're still there, almost jumped in the pool of death. Also known as lava. Rain away, basically. Trying to get him away. I uh, fell into my ditch accidentally. Uh, tried to get out of it, but um, they kind of caught up with me after that. Which was a problem. But 
So my next plan was that I'm gonna run inside my house, and uh, they are not getting in. So I successfully trapped them in the ditch. Then I try to figure out, uh, do I want to just uh, whack them with a sword until they're gone, or what do I want to do here? Obviously, I need to eat, because I'm kind of about to die. Plus, let's be honest, steak is pretty good. IRL and in Minecraft. So, uh, while well, they're just jumping around there, looking for me, I just, you know, I'm like, okay, just, uh, let me heal up and, uh, oh, there he is. We'll just, uh, you know. Try to get him to go into the ditch, but uh, he didn't want to go. I can barely reach him there, as you saw. Finally got him to fall in. And the other one jumps like right up. And so I decided, you know what? We're going to bed now. We finally, we finally got rid of them. Just double checking, and uh, make sure to keep an eye on what is going on with that arrow. Cause trust me, in the morning you'll see what's going on. No pillagers will ever stop me. As you notice in a moment here, when I destroy that drip block, what's gonna happen? Yeah, it kept its momentum. Actually, I thought that was kind of cool. It's like it still kept gravity. I guess still had an effect on it. Kind of like with sand, you know, or move black under sand, still gonna fall. So, you know, I had to go check and see if the villagers are alright. I built a new wall to try to kind of keep more villagers out. Decided, you know what, buddy, you're gonna get this banner. You're gonna get to keep the villager banner, because, uh, you know, you're the first villager to be attacked, and uh, they shot their own captain. Maybe he talked him into it. And then I decided, you know, let's build a farm, and... A little while later, well, after I got some of the farm made, then uh, I met somebody. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. He didn't have very good trades, though. Not very good trades at all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, I decided to, uh, I'm gonna run away. Huh? I didn't like it. His trades were awful. Then I found a shipwreck with some, uh, what loot. Yo! Yep. Pretty decent loot, too. And, um, some prismarine. And I went back into the ship just to see, uh, what do we got? Got very treasure map and decided, you know what? Uh, we should probably head home now. Let's uh, chop our way out of here and get back to base, you know? Alright, I'm definitely gonna have to come back here now. He took the words right out of my mouth, other me. So, you would think uh, this is going well, you know, I smoked some food, I'm about to go mining in my own personal cave mine thing. What well, can go wrong, right? This is okay. There's nothing wrong with this. Just casually, like, you know, placing torches, just trying to see uh, what's going on here. But little did I know, um, disaster is about to strike in the most strangest way possible. They say, uh, when pigs fly, but, uh, what happens when creepers fly? And yes, I said creepers, as you saw in the intro of this video. Which, speaking of this video, if you like this type of content, maybe consider hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hardcore or you want to see, you know, more of the uh, different dimensions that I cover, or better yet, you want me to start doing hardcore challenges in the infinite dimensions, maybe consider subscribing and... You know, maybe you could even help me avoid what's about to happen next.
That did not just happen. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. And just like that, folks, my not even 17 days of my first hardcore world is gone. Only 16 days. 16 days, that was it? Wow, okay. Okay.